In 500 AD, the ancient kingdom of Ghana began. It was located in the upper Niger River Valley. It literally sat on a gold mine. This location was the key to its wealth and success. Their kings were strong rulers that had ultimate power. They governed without laws and were very wealthy. The king was in charge at all times, but hired mayors, civil servants, counselors, and ministers to assist him with his duties. Their economy was filthy rich as a result of their numerous gold mines. Even their dogs wore golden collars, and there was such an abundance, almost everything was made from it. They established the gold for salt trading method, which opened the doors to their economic success. They were rich in many things, but they didn't have salt. They traded gold with the northern kingdoms in exchange for salt, which was used to preserve and improve the taste of food, and was worth its weight in gold. They became wealthy by collecting taxes from traders and merchants who passed through the kingdom. They traded the Arabs for salt with gold, ivory, and slaves, and traded with North Africans and Europeans for horses, cloth, swords, and books. By the mid-11th century, the Muslim group known as the Amoravids invaded the capital city of Kumisale, but Ghana recovered and forced them to withdraw. Just short of 200 years later, Ghana was weakened by attacks, cut off from international trade, and gradually became vulnerable and una unable to defend itself. In 1240 CE, the Kingdom of Ghana was absorbed into Mali, the next great empire.